Hey everyone, welcome to the show. Today we are hopping across to the state of Illinois to a small town called Champaign. And to meet someone from the University of Illinois Urbana Champaign. With me today is sophomore Saurav Lal. Hey Saurav, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks for having me. Sure. Saurav, you are doing this engineering program at UIUC. Yeah. Would you want to tell us a bit about this program? Uh, yeah, so I am a sophomore in computer engineering right now. Um, basically, computer engineering is what in India you would classify as the electronics course at any regular engineering college. It's uh, kind of a blend between electrical engineering and computer science. You basically learn how to make a computer from scratch and I quite find it interesting. Okay, super. So we have electrical engineering on the one hand, we have computer science on the other hand and we have this fantastic program right in the middle. So for a high school student looking to decide which way should I go, what advice would you want to give me? My advice would be that it really depends on what you like. If you like more mathematical stuff, then maybe computer science is the way for you. Um, if, you if you're like me, you like logic and you kind of like the blend of mathematics and physics, then maybe computer engineering is the way for you to go. Okay, and there is an option for someone to get into a general engineering program and then decide later? What yeah, major? Um, so you can start off as an undecided major. Or you can start off in any any engineering major and you're free to register for whatever whichever courses you want, like the basic courses that is. And once you do that, then you can really decide which course of engineering you want to get into. Right, but right. I personally chose to go straight into computer engineering because I knew what I wanted to do. And also, for someone who's not already in the department, uh, the GPA requirements can be pretty high. Okay, once you get in, is that yeah. much harder to get yeah. your specialization? Yes. So as advice, you're saying, Choose. If you know what you want to do, choose it from yeah. the word go. Yeah. Okay. This is a large state school and students coming in from small high schools <laughs> sometimes worry about how to deal with it. So what would you like to say to them? The, the real challenge is that uh, you don't really get face time with a lot of your professors. Um, for me, it really didn't matter. Uh, but for some people, like some of my friends who, come, uh, who are from India, don't, uh, don't like that experience. So I guess it would be something to look at before you choose to come to UIUC. But at the same time, you know, the, you have discussion sections and you meet TAs who are more than qualified to help you with whatever work or whatever research you're doing. Yeah, so what would be the number if we were to hit a number of class size? Um, so I've, I've been very class size. I was in a psychology class which had like 40 people. Okay. But then I was in an engineering class which had 900 people for the lectures. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Of course, I mean, I guess most people stop showing up after the first half of the semester, so it gets a lot uh, calmer, but okay. yeah. Okay, so attendance <laughs> is not really... Uh, no, it's not. Uh, you, you can pretty much learn on your own and they... Uh, so most people just don't show up, I guess, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> for the really big classes. Okay. okay, so tell us some of the activities that you're engaged in outside of the classroom. Um, so, well, in the first semester I started off playing a little bit of field hockey and some softball. Um, of course, there are lots of sports that are there for everyone to play. There are things like water polo and volleyball and everything, everything that you could possibly imagine. Uh, and what about research? Sometimes at large schools you may not get opportunities. Um, so they are, every department has its own um, student research uh, scheme, I guess. So one of the projects I've been involved with, uh, something that my graduate student calls Crappy. It's uh, basically a compiler which kind of converts um, code that's written in Python to C++. Um, it sounds a lot more complicated than it is. One of my other friends was just basically working with um, with a robot, trying to teach it how to play Wii. Oh wow! Uh, so, <laughs> so we have projects like that that are easily available for like students to take up. Super, and you get some degree of supervision on them as well. Yes, yes, you get like one credit hour that's graded. Yeah, fantastic. So, what would you say going forward are your plans? As of now, I'm looking to do a masters because they do offer a masters in five years for. You know, computer engineers and I think electrical engineers and maybe computer science students. I would probably wait until my master's to decide whether I wanted to do something like a PhD or an MBA or something. Yeah, yes. But it's interesting this five-year integrated yes. BSMS program. Yes, um, I mean it gives you an opportunity to do a master's at a school without having to like reapply or waste a year in you know applications and doing like the GREs and all the tests yeah. again. Yeah. So now that you're in your sophomore year, do you live on campus or do you live in an apartment? So well the first year you're kind of forced to live in dorms, so you get to apply and then they kind of assign you. The thing with dorms is 
most of them aren't that good because you have to compulsorily live there so they don't really make the facilities that great but i guess the best part about dorms is to make friends and meet people yeah there are some that uh, you want to avoid because they're so far away but then again it depends on where your major is so i suggest that you look up the location of the dorms before you oh, okay. choose your preferences okay um, but as a sophomore i moved out and i live in an apartment that is about Five minutes from all my classes, oh. so uh, five wow. walk that is. So it's uh, very so, convenient. So there could be a dorm that's say hypothetically much further yes, out than um, the apartment. My dorm last year was like a 45 minute walk from my classes, and so oh, <laughs> through the snow. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Which takes me to the next question about food. Um, yeah. Food again. I guess if you're vegetarian, you might struggle, but I don't. Personally, have any issues because there are enough eating places. You can go to the dorms and buy your meals if you feel like. If you're not living in the dorms itself, uh, personally, I usually get like packets of food from India and I kind of heat them up. So. <laughs> okay, okay. They say it's the number one party school in the U.S. So how does the social life evolve on campus? Of course, there are parties every day, and you can kind of get lost in them. But most of the time, you'll be having like homework to do and stuff, so you won't really be going out. This weekend, which is called unofficial St. Patrick's Day, so I guess that would be the time to like come visit if you're not going to UIC. There's a lot of parties, and I guess it's up to you to kind of uh, choose whether you want to be that guy who goes to all the parties or not. Personally, I, I really I go to sleep at like 10 p.m. every night, so wow. I really don't want Mom to. And Dad are happy. <laughs> so, would you describe your school in one word? Uh, I guess the one word I choose is big because okay. it's huge. Uh, of course, and you're kind of like left on your own to do whatever you want. No one will tell you what to do. Yeah, so big has a lot of opportunities, but if you go looking for something, you'll find it. So if you want to do something, people will always be there to help you, but you have to go looking for it. No one's going to kind of guide you through everything. Yeah. So what advice would you give an incoming freshman? Don't get lost in the chaos, I guess, because the moment you come in, there's a lot of oh, let's go to parties. Let's try all these random things let's not go to class and all that kind of stuff it'd be kind of important to know what you want at the end of it because you are you see the school where you have people who work very hard and at the same time you have people who just are happy just kind of passing through the whole college experience so i mean kind of up to you to choose which side you're on okay so tell us one fun experience you've had at college i actually kind of got a call from uh, one of my friend's roommates to come and pick him up uh, thing was that uh, it was snowing and he kind of for some reason decided to make snow angels at like <laughs> one o'clock in the morning on the court and there were a bunch of police officers who kind of <laughs> caught him and tried to get him tested for drugs and all and kind of had to explain that it's just it's regular it's just normal <laughs> it's normal to be out in the snow at one a.m. Making, making snow yes, angels yes, I guess. and the parents believed it <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah Thank you so much for being on the show. Nice. Great having you. Please click the subscribe button below. Like me at facebook.com slash chatchat101. Follow my Twitter handle chatchat101 or at Instagram chatchat101. Please leave your comments in the sections below. And if you'd like me to feature any particular college, please let me know. Thank you.